Mm-hmm. I think this is like a really important concept. Inter- let's just explicitly define for people what are cytokines. Cytokines are the universal language of cell-cell communication. And if you break down the term cytokine, uh, kine is like dynamic. So it's you know cells that are in in movement dynamically talking to each other. So the cytokines are little proteins, and they're made by cells to talk to each other. Uh, so the <laughs> cytokines are not immune. Mm-hmm. I think this is like a really important concept. Inter- the, the field of immunology has, I think, like almost appropriated themselves. You know, the the term cytokine. Now you hear cytokine, you're like, oh, inflammation, immune activation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If a cell wants to tell the other cells something's going on over here, it, it's doing that via cytokines. But cytokines seems to be kind of the most advanced alphabet, right? The most advanced mechanism, a repertoire of of, uh, of mechanisms that cells have to communicate, you know, and, and I think in probably in pretty sophisticated ways, what their state is, because if you're a cell and energetically you're struggling, you're full of energy resistance and your electrons are, you know, you, there's way more work happening, you know, inside of you than you can sustain flux, right? Cells around you need to know that, mm-hmm. right? And, and how is that communicated? And then the nucleus kicks in this transcriptional response that uh, includes some proteins, small proteins that convey information called cytokines. Uh, And then those proteins are made and then they're secreted outside the cell. Uh, So there are different cytokines that mean different things. The cytokine that seems to be the most specific and sensitive to reductive stress and therefore to energy resistance is this protein called GDF15, growth differentiation factor 15. GDF15 across the board, across multiple studies, was the number one protein that increased exponentially with age. So Hmm. old people have much higher levels of GDF-15 in their blood than younger people. So higher GDF-15 indicates that there's energy resistance problems. 